Hello, I'm Rosella Cottrell and my passion is parchment craft. If this is a craft that's new to you, I'm going to show you the tools, the skills and the techniques required so that you too can make beautiful works of art like this. The first thing that we need to do is trace and for that we need a pattern. Now this can be anything, it can be a printed pattern, it can be um, a, a free drawing that you've done or in this case I'm using a stamped image from one of my stamps. So the next thing we need to do is to choose the medium that we'd like to trace it with and we've got a variety of choice. We can use inks, either coloured inks, traditional white ink and we use a mapping pen for this, just like a fountain pen and that will give us this effect. So you can see quite clearly where the white lines are ready to move on to the next stage. Alternatively we could use coloured pens. These are perga colours and they're a felt pen and again we've got a little bit of colour in there. Or today I'm actually going to trace just with a white pencil. And the reason I'm going to do this is that then I can erase my pencil marks and that means that my parchment design is going to be really gentle and soft. So let's start tracing. And for this, we don't need to be so accurate. No one's actually going to compare our pattern to the original traced pattern. So we can just relax and enjoy it and not worry too much if we're not entirely on the lines. It's a good idea to pop a little bit of parchment under your hand so that if you do have sweaty pores they're not going to mark our parchment. So just a very quick tracing ready to move on to our next stage and nearly there. If at any point we get lost and can't actually remember what we've traced a little bit of black paper just pop it under and as you can see I haven't traced the stem of that flower so let's just pop that in and there's our trace design ready to start embossing. So to emboss it's often we emboss on the reverse of the parchment this will create a curved image on the front and that texture. If perhaps we're embossing a flower and the petals turn inwards, we can of course emboss on the front. But for this demonstration, I'm going to emboss on the reverse. So I've got a choice of embossing tools and these are the ones I've chosen. So we've got um, quite a large three millimeter tool. We've got a 1.5 millimeter tool we're going down in size to a one millimetre tool and then down to a very fine stylus. These will give us different depths of embossing, different depths of whiteness and more detail. Handy little thing to have is Pergasoft. This is just a waxy substance and we can rub our embossing tools in this and it just aids our embossing. So where do we start? Just rub our tool through, choose where we're going to emboss first and then just gentle little flicking strokes, almost as if we were striking a match. Just gently stroking the parchment. Now we need to be gentle. If we emboss very hard straight away, our parchment may buckle and we just don't get a great effect. It's better to do it little and often. And if we can actually do our initial embossing and then leave the parchment to rest, that's even better. So we're just going to work our way around. It's the same stroke. So I'm using the larger tool to stretch this parchment gently before we put more definition and more detail within our embossing. So let's just work our way around. Relax into it, nice flowing strokes. Follow the way the petals are formed. Now this embossing will not be white, it will be grey and that's perfect because what we would like is some nice gentle embossing, we'd allow it to rest before we go back to it. Now obviously for the stem we need a smaller tool so we'll go straight in perhaps with our one millimetre tool and we'll just do a flowing stroke to the stem, just the one will be enough. 
for our leaves. These are quite long, so again, the same, just the long flowing strokes, little tiny flicks, nice and gently. And it will get some really beautiful white, even embossing. If we have a quick look at where we are so far, let's pop that black behind again. You can see we're just starting to get that little bit of definition and detail within our embossing. So I'm working my way down my tool sizes now. I've done my initial embossing with my three millimeter quite large tool. I've let it rest. I'm going back to it again with my three millimeter and that's given us quite a nice white effect already. And now I'm ready to move down in my tool sizes to actually give it a little bit more definition, a little bit more detail to my piece. So let's go down, first of all, perhaps to the one and a half millimeter tool and let's work on it again exactly the same as before with just little strokes but because this parchment has rested it's getting whiter more easily but most importantly nice and smoothly so we're not putting too much stress on it we're not buckling it let's work way around now do be aware that you need to move your parchment, not your hand, to make it comfortable because it must be comfortable and enjoyable, this hobby. And it's very, very addictive. The more embossing I've done, the smoother my embossing has become and the smoother my design. It's quite light around the edges because we traced with pencil and that gives a really delicate effect just going to do this leaf and then I'm just going to go down a tool size again just put final finishing touches to it you can of course continue let it rest come back to it but at some point you'll reach a stage where you feel actually it's okay so I think we'll perhaps go down to the one millimeter tool now and let's just pop perhaps just on the points of these petals little bit of definition, a little bit up the side there. I love this finishing touch. It makes such a difference to your design coming back to it after it's rested. A little bit on that bud and a little bit on the point of the leaf as well. Do keep checking your work as you go along to make sure that it's how you want it. Okay, so I'm happy with this design now. And I can now incorporate that into a project, perhaps a card, as in this finished one here. I really hope you've enjoyed this little video and that you want to learn more about parchment craft. There are lots more new to you videos to watch to learn further techniques and skills.